Hey good people, hey good people, Zer is over on the Winding Cove as you can see on the map and he is selling the exotic armor list for y'all this time. So if you need that linear fusion, it's right there. Then for my hunters, you got a 63 row of Kepri Sting, highest thing on there is 18 strength. Then Titans have MK44 stand aside with a 68 row, yes 68. And then 16 resilience and discipline on the highs and with decent recovery, not bad. And then Warlocks have a 67 row of Karnstein armlets with 25 recovery. Hey, you might need to get on that, y'all. All right, now for your random weapons. We got True Prophecy with Steady Hand ACS or Crossfire ACS, Steady Rounds or Alloy Magazine, Field Prep, and Elemental Capacitor with a Reload Masterwork. Then you got Nature of the Beast Hand Cannon with Crossfire ACS, Steady Hand ACS, Extended Mag or Alloy Magazine, Snapshot Sights, and Rangefinder, not bad for PvP. Comes with a handle of masterwork. Then the Blood Feud SMG with full bore or hammer forge rifling, steady rounds or alloy magazine, ambitious assassin, headstone, and then right hook origin trait and a range masterwork. Not bad for PV again. All right then, deafening whisper grenade launcher with confined launch or linear compensator. High velocity rounds or implosion rounds, surplus and threat detector with a blast radius masterwork. There's a soul survivor sniper with polygonal rifling or small bore, flare magwell or high caliber rounds, eddy current, and then frenzy with the disaster plan origin trait and a handling masterwork. Then there's a seven seraph soul machine gun with fluted barrel or small bore, armor piercing grounds or light mag, auto loading holster and an opening shot with a reload speed masterwork, and a bump in the night rocket launcher with counter mass or smart drift control, alloy casing or impact casing, demolitionist and chill clip with the extrovert origin trait and a blast radius. This is a very nice PVE one if you cannot craft it and you're newer to the game. All right, if you want to know what Hawk Moon's got, it has Polygon of Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Killing Wind, and Combat Grip. Now let's get into what the Warlocks have for Legendary Armor. You got the Eidolon Pursuant set and the Gauntlets are 52, oh no. The chest armor is a 55. They got the bond, of course. Eidolon pursuing helmet, 54. And the legs are 52. It's just here for cosmetics, y'all. And then for my Titan homies out there, it's the Eidolon pursuing set again, of course. And the gauntlets are 52. The chest is a 53. You got the mark. There's a 56 roll for the helmet and a 51 for the legs. Again, cosmetics purely. And for my hunters out there, there's a 54 for the gauntlets, a 50 for the chest armor. Of course you get your cloak, a 50 again for the helmet, and a 51 for the leg armor. So get those cosmetics if you need them, y'all. And for my people wondering what the Trials of Osiris weapon is this week, it's that beautiful baby, the Igneous Hammer, and the map that I got was the Anomaly. If there's another map of rotation, let me know in the comments. And let me know in the comments if anybody's picking anything up. I hope this helps y'all out. Have a good weekend. And help me out with a comment, a like, subscribe, and hitting the bell, y'all. I'm out.